Today we are presenting a case of 27 year old female who presented to ER with complaints of sudden onset of shortness of breath and chest tightness. Uh, on initial 10 second assessment, airway was patent, no pulling or secretion. Breathing respiratory rate was 46 per minute, saturation was 90 percentage in room air. Uh, there was uh, air entry was reduced over the left sided and chest movements was also less. So uh, at that time of uh, we had started uh, O2 in, via nasal prongs uh, for the patient with uh, 3 liters. And uh, we had done a point of care ultrasound at the time of point in ER. Uh, it was showing there was no uh, lung uh, sliding movements over the left side and M mode, M -mode was showing uh, barcode sign. Barcode. So we had arranged call for chest x-ray and uh, we had uh, at the same time we had arranged for uh, chest tube insertion, ICD insertion. Coming to circulation. Uh, breathing was, uh, BP was 110 by 70 millimeters of mercury and pulse rate was uh, 110 per minute. Uh, all peripheral pulsations equally felt, there were no encoached neck veins. And coming to disability, GCS was 15 by 15 and uh, pupils equal and reacting to light and exposure temperature was ephebrile. Uh, so coming to summary history, uh, 27 year old female with no known comorbidities presented to ER with complaints of sudden onset of shortness of breath and chest tightness. Uh, what are the conditions can present with sudden onset of breathlessness in ED? Uh, acute asthma attack, acute asthma. COPD uh, exacerbation, uh, acute pulmonary edema hmm. uh, and pulmonary embolism, pulmonary embolism. pneumothorax, pneumothorax. Uh, any um, acute MI possible failure. Okay, acute MI. <laughs> Depending on the age and sex, what are the uh, differential diagnosis? Small child. If he comes with a foreign body, foreign body, and young female, um, young asthma. female without any previous history of any disease, like this, your patient, hmm? panic attack. <laughs> female or male both can have panic attack. <laughs> okay, panic attack is one of the common problems. Pneumothorax, young female, pneumothorax. Related to menstrual period. Catamenial. Catamenial. Pulmonary embolism. Okay. Female patients, uh, they are more common because of the conditions which can pre-exist, like SLE, APLA. Uh, APLA syndrome. All those things are common in female patients. Okay. Male patients who can present with Marfan. acute Marfan syndrome. Marfan, Erlen Danlos and Ma Marfan. Marfan is the com most common thing. Or blebs because of smoking or pre-existing lung disease. Okay, so depending on the age, sex, all these things, again uh, the differential diagnosis vary. Uh, so I uh, tell something about ultrasound use of ultrasound in. You already told uh, uh, use of ultrasound in when, emergency room. Uh, uh, for in this patient, we had uh, in uh, acute onset of breathlessness. We can see lung sliding movements uh, with the vascular probe. Uh, so, if there is no lung sliding, we have to suspect either pneumothorax or any underlying pleural effusion. Mm. Uh, and then, uh, if there is lung point, that is the uh, a point between the transition between the uh, lung sliding movements and the absent lung sliding, it is a uh, diagnostic of pneumothorax. Okay. And then uh, we can change to M mode. Uh, and normally, uh, the normal lung movements is seen as seashore sign. Mm. And if there is pneumothorax, uh, there will be barcode sign. Mm. And then uh, we can see for pleural effusions, any B lines, if there is okay. pulmonary, uh, fluid overload state. And if there is pneumonia, there will be starry sky appearance. Okay. Um, and also tamponade, uh, cardiac tamponade we can see. Okay. Um, and, uh, to know the IVC status, when fluid status IVC can okay. be done. Good. Uh, there was no history of any fever, cough uh, or vomiting. No history of any radiating chest pain or palpitations, sweating, no history of any dizziness or syncope associated with the uh, symptoms. So, uh, and uh, point of care, ABG was showing pH of 7.323 with the PCO2 of 52, PO2 of 63 and bicarbonate of 21. So, what is your diagnosis, uh, ABG diagnosis? Acute respiratory uh, acidosis with type 2. Compensation? Uh, it is, uh, bicarbonate is 21 since it is acute attack. There is no compensation. Okay. Acute condition without compensation. And there is hypoxia also. PO2 63. 63. Is it type 1 or type 2? Type 2. And uh, total counts were 8.5, 
uh, with a CRP of uh, 23. Mm. So when he, uh, we had taken a chest x-ray, chest x-ray was showing a massive left pneumothorax and we had arranged for, already arranged for ICD and we had... Is it tension pneumothorax or a simple massive pneumothorax? Uh, there were no encoached neck veins um, mm. and there is no hypotension. Mm. There was, desaturation was there. Okay, desaturation was there but there is no hypotension. Hypotension was not there. What is Bextrad? Um, um, encoached neck veins, muffled mm. heart sounds and uh, hypotension. This is described in which condition? Cardiac tamponade. Can you get the same findings in this? Oh, this also Muffled modified. Heart sound, Muffled heart sound also, also can left be uh, because if it is a left side of pneumothorax, it can mimic that. So, back triad is basically uh, okay. designed for cardiac tamponade, but here also you can get sometimes. Uh, then we had uh, inserted <coughs> left sided ICD was inserted. What are the indications for needle uh, needle thoracic or sandesis? Needle? Uh, thoracic. Uh, needle. Decompression. Needle decompression. So, in tension pneumothorax, first indication is tension pneumothorax. Okay. If there is hypotension, uh, and then uh, according to uh, the BTS guidelines, uh, if there is a secondary pneumothorax, uh, if the um, pneumothorax the size that is from the high at the higher level from this lateral chest wall, if it is one to two centimeter, we can try for aspiration. Okay. Where you put a needle normally or uh, ICD? ICD in the uh, fifth intercostal space uh, uh, and anterior axillary line. Okay. And previous we, guidelines? Uh, no, needle decompression is uh, previously it was second intercostal space in the uh, mid clavicular line. Okay. Now it is fifth. Now both are in the same area. Okay, that is the only difference from previous ATLS guidelines to this one. Uh, and uh, we had inserted ICD and uh, it was. Uh, connected to the underwater seal mm. and patient was admitted under uh, respiratory medicine mm. and they had taken a CT uh, chest. Mm. CT chest was showing uh, left mild pneumothorax uh, with ICD to be in situ and patchy areas of ground glassing and consolidation involving left lung could be infected. Mm. So she was uh, managed with IV antibiotics, piperacillin, and tazobactam, nebulizations and um, initial chest x-rays was not showing complete resolution so a low pressure negative suction was applied with the ICD. And then uh, subsequent x-rays were showing complete What resolution. organisms can produce this type of lesions in the lungs? Um, Klebsiella, staph. Staph. And staph is mo normally, it is bilateral. Okay. Any necrotizing pneumonia can produce, but staph is a very common thing where you get uh, pneumothorax, but that is mostly bilateral lesion. HIV patients? Pneumothorax. PCP. Okay. Uh, and then uh, coming to the classification of pneumothorax, it can uh, be. Is she, is she in uh, menstrual periods? No, 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 sir. It's she not is. that. Okay. Um, yeah, pneumothorax classification, it can be uh, traumatic and spontaneous. Hmm. Uh, spontaneous can be primary and secondary. Primary is there is no identified. How do you manage the traumatic pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax? Uh, if there is tension pneumothorax, needle decompression and then hmm. we can put an ICD. This stab wound injury, bullet uh, okay. shot injury, how do you manage? Small pneumothorax, uh, we can three way where we can. Three way? Dressing. Dressing. Three way dressing it is, valve. it is a valve mechanism. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we can convert into ICD. Hmm. Same area or different area? Different area. Okay, should we uh, re- Explore that wound. No. You have to make that uh, borders clean. Otherwise, again, it will become a problem afterwards. Okay, so that we have to make sure that. Um, uh, uh, primary and secondary spontaneous hmm. pneumothorax. Primary is uh, there is no underlying identified underlying uh, lung condition. Secondary is there will be already pre-existing lung pathology will be there like like uh, COPD, asthma, or any blood. Uh, is I mean, is classified as secondary pneumothorax, uh, and then lot of COPD patients you can see uh, black lung fields. How do you differentiate that type of lung? There is some phasematous lung yeah. that from uh, pneumothorax. Bronchovascular markings. Yes. Will be there, and okay. air entry will be reduced, uh, uh, absent in the pneumothorax, okay. uh, and hyperresonant. Okay. A note will be there in percussion. That both will be there. Uh, and then um, 
coming to BTS guidelines. Hmm. Uh, basically, it is uh, whether we should put an ICD or not that the decision is okay. made by BTS guidelines. To the spontaneous pneumothorax, if there is an age is more than 50, or uh, is, if there is bilateral pneumothorax, or if there is any hemodynamic instability, uh, we have to diagnose. Uh, means other, uh, if there is pre-existing condition, it is secondary pneumothorax. In secondary pneumothorax, if the uh, size of the pneumothorax at the higher level from the lateral chest wall is more than two centimeter, uh, we have to directly for, uh, go for chest wall um, ICD insertion. If it is between one to two centimeter, me, uh, aspiration can be tried. If it is less than one centimeter, we should admit the patient and start on high flow oxygen. Uh, can we use BiPAP in, no, or sir. NIV in this type of patients? No, sir. The condition will worsen. Which all conditions will worsen? Uh, pneumothorax. If it is a, if it, suppose it's a stab wound, stab wound injury, pneumothorax, will it was? If it is open pneumothorax. If it is open outside, it will so not worse. If it, if it is a closed tension pneumothorax, then we have to be careful. Careful. But uh, once you put the uh, ICD, ICD again, it is same. So no need to worry about that. And in primary pneumothorax, uh, if it is uh, more than two centimeter or the patient is breathless, we can go for. Okay. The most important thing is whether he is breathless or not and whether the BP is uh, good or bad. Uh, and this patient basically uh, subsequent x-rays was showing resolution hmm. and uh, she was uh, done a, um, a, a bowel culture okay. since is uh, suspecting infective uh, but bowel culture was showing normal. Normal. normal Do you flora. suspect TB in this patient? Uh, there is no chronic history of fever, cough, nothing was there. Hmm. Sudden onset breathing difficulty was okay, the only so thing the TB she is had. unlikely. You suspect uh, pneumonia. Uh, CT was showing some patchy ground glass opacities. But she is not having fever, nothing. Uh, no, no, no fever. Okay. Pre existing bronchiectasis or something. Something yeah. may be there. Yeah. What happened to the patient afterwards? How do you remove the tube? Uh, we can clamp the ICD and mm. whether look for patient is having breathlessness or not. Uh, if there is, she is not breathless, we can remove the ICD and we will see. If she becomes breathless after clamping, what will happen? What do you do? Uh, unclamp. Hmm? Again clamp. No, un unclamp. That's okay. Uh. Un unclamp. So what is the next option by a pulmonologist? Pleurodesis is recurring. If not getting settled, then pleurodesis can be done. Pleurodesis. How do you do pleurodesis? Uh, so, talc, there are different types. One is talc. Hmm. Uh, pleurodesis, one is betadine. Hmm. These two, usually we are doing talc. Uh, we'll dissolve the talc in saline and we'll inject the uh, talc through the that solution through the ICD. Hmm. So, that will... Uh, uh, Conditions between the visceral and the parietal pleura, so that recurrent uh, pneumothorax or effusion also. Will, okay. It won't occur. Okay. So this patient was uh, discharged without any without ICD. major issue. Yes, sir. Anything else you want to tell? No, sir. You want to add something? Okay. The only thing is you should be very careful, uh, like uh, percentage of the. This one sometimes we'll, we can uh, miss because we do, we we are taking an X-ray, especially in our hospital we have X-ray in the screen. Okay, so we will not be knowing how much quantity is uh, pneumothorax. That is very difficult in this type of digital X-rays because we can enlarge and only most important thing is clinical finding. Okay, whether the patient is breathless or not, whether the patient's BP is normal or abnormal. These two things you have to be very careful. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.